Some of the most important and largest cohort studies in the world have been done by our next speaker, who is uh, going to be talking now not just about his uh, cohort, but a pooled project uh, about HPV-based uh, uh, screening. So that um, it's a pleasure to call up uh, Dr. Ronco. Well, uh, th very, thank you very much for your presentation. <laughs> I, I'm really honored to uh, uh, to speak here. I, I right? Okay. Uh, as the first thing I must say, I, I, I want to uh, thank uh, all the co-authors of the study because this was a uh, really collaborative study uh, where we pulled data, but uh, we pulled uh, ideas uh, over that, and it was extremely useful. Uh, Going to the disclosure, uh, uh, Chris Bayer uh, is a member of the Scientific uh, um, <coughs> Advisory Board of Kyogen uh, and has been an occasional advisor for uh, different firms, uh, so as uh, Peter Snyders and uh, uh, Johannes Berkhoff. Um, let's go to the data. Uh, <coughs> this is... Uh, um, what we did is a pulled, uh, individually pulled uh, analysis of uh, uh, the four, all the four uh, randomized trials uh, in uh, industrialized countries, which published data over the, uh, at least two screening rounds, which are these uh, four studies. Um, just note that uh, there were differences uh, as the primary uh, test, which was uh, uh, standalone HPV in uh, uh, the phase two of uh, NTCC and uh, um, um, co-testing uh, of HPV and uh, cytology in uh, all uh, the other cases. Uh, differences management of uh, HPV positive women, uh, uh, which was uh, di direct referral to colposcopy in NTCC and uh, cytological triage in the other uh, studies. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, uh, in with screen and Pobascam, the age of entry was uh, older than in NTCC, especially artistic, and uh, uh, that uh, the ratio was uh, one to one of randomization was one to one in all uh, studies except uh, artistic, where it was three to one. Uh, anyway, I think the most important background of these um, studies is that uh, the relative incidence of uh, CIM3 after the uh, first uh, uh, round with uh, HPV versus cytology based screening was about was less than uh, uh, 0.5 overall. So there was a strong reduction, and this reduction was uh, uh, very similar in all studies uh, with uh, substantially no uh, heterogeneity. And this is very important because. Such a reduction uh, means that, uh, uh, which was preceded by um, uh, an increased detection uh, at round one in three out of four studies, shows that uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this HPV uh, allowed earlier uh, detection of uh, uh, precancer than cytology. And of course, uh, if you detect uh, precancers earlier, you can treat them, uh, you have a higher probability to treat them before uh, invasion, and so you expect higher efficacy. And what is especially important then is that this reduction was similar in all uh, studies, independently of difference in the screening protocols. Uh, here is the method of our uh, uh, analysis. The endpoint was uh, invasive cervical carcinoma. Uh, cases were blindly verified and excluded uh, CIN, uh, non-epithelial, uh, cervical, uh, uh, primary uh, cancers, not cervical. Uh, the analysis was mainly by intention to treat. Uh, we computed the uh, Kaplan-Meier uh, uh, cumulative incidence from recruitment, uh, which is uh, the most important thing, and also we uh, computed the uh, study adjusted uh, uh, re relative risk uh, indices and density ratio risk. Uh, we did both by random and uh, fixed effect, but uh, as we were very similar, we present uh, uh, here just fixed effect uh, uh, results, uh, um, model uh, um, 
relative risk. Uh, here to, have, to give some absolute number, uh, there were overall 109 cancers. Uh, a little more than half uh, were uh, fully invasive, uh, and uh, <coughs> very many were mi microinvasive, and uh, uh, more than two thirds were uh, uh, squamous cell carcinoma, and one third was uh, adeno. And this happened, uh, uh, were detected over uh, about 1,200,000 person years of follow up uh, with a um, duration of uh, six years and a half. Um, this is the uh, cumulative incidence by arm uh, from recruitment. You see, there is, is, the difference is very small up to two, three years uh, from recruitment. Uh, this is, uh, uh, these are mostly, plausibly, uh, cancers who were already prevalent uh, at, uh, at recruitment that which were detected uh, with some delay due to uh, diagnostic workup, uh, repeats, etc. And after uh, three years, uh, uh, you see instead uh, there is a clear, uh, uh, the curves clearly diverge uh, and uh, uh, they still continue to diverge up to uh, nine years uh, after um, recruitment. Uh, this, uh, if you look at uh, the relative risk uh, study adjusted, uh, you see overall there is a significant uh, reduction overall means from re uh, recruitment to uh, the end of follow-up of about 40%. Uh, which uh, is uh, the result of a very small reduction in uh, the first two years and a half, which is actually the uh, effect of prevalent uh, uh, disease. And then uh, it becomes uh, larger, uh, again uh, uh, significant. Here there is a reduction of about 50%. Uh, probably this is a more precise, uh, uh, more uh, valid estimate of what is expected uh, to be the uh, effect on the long term, but it's very important that uh, there is a, an overall reduction from the beginning, uh, fr from recruitment, because we, this uh, overall reduction shows that uh, uh, the following uh, reduction is not simply a, a, an early diagnosis, but that we, uh, with HPV, allowed uh, preventing uh, more cancers uh, uh, from, uh, from arising. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, uh, there is no heterogeneity between studies overall and in uh, the prevalence uh, uh, period, uh, but there is some heterogeneity in the, uh, the follow-up. And this is mainly uh, plausibly due to uh, delayed diagnosis uh, of uh, prevalent cases part of which is uh, probably due, uh, or most of which is due to non-compliance to uh, uh, colposcopy or to uh, diagnostic follow-up. Actually, this is the uh, risk uh, after a negative entry test, uh, uh, which uh, uh, eliminates the uh, problem of, of um, prevalent disease. And here you see the uh, relative risk uh, become even large, uh, even smaller. There is a 30%, uh, a 70% reduction. What is also extremely important uh, is that uh, the uh, cumulative incidence uh, uh, of cancer nine, uh, five years and a half after a, a negative HPV test is lower, uh, much lower than uh, the cumulative incidence of cancers uh, of uh, cancer of three and a half years after negative cytology. And this, of course, shows that uh, uh, having a five years interval uh, between negative tests uh, with HPV is safe. Uh, here we have uh, the data by uh, stage. Uh, it's important that the uh, effect uh, of HPV seem to be uh, very similar uh, with micro and, and fully invasive cancers, and this of, uh, is, uh, of course, uh, important because uh, uh, the, the fully invasive cancer have a, a different prognosis and a different impact of uh, with 
women's life, although there was some uh, heterogeneity between the two studies included. Uh, the other point is that the uh, relative uh, uh, risk was uh, uh, just uh, less than two, uh, one third in, uh, with uh, HPV uh, for adenocarcinoma, and the reduction was uh, just uh, more than 20% for squamous cell carcinoma, and this is of borderline significance, and maybe it's consist perfectly consistent with uh, what we know about the fact that uh, cytology is less effective uh, than uh, in, in preventing uh, adenocarcinoma than uh, squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, this is finally the data by age. At the end, uh, they are a little spa quite sparse anyway, and in younger, in women before 30, it's difficult to say anything because we had just five cases. Anyway, it's uh, uh, relevant that uh, the relative risk was uh, 0.36 at age 30-34, and then uh, increased to uh, 0.62 and 0.68 increasing age. This is, again, not statistically significant. Uh, there, there is no, uh, it could be, the difference between ages could be uh, due to, uh, simply to, to random variation. But again, uh, this is consistent to, with uh, English data, which show uh, lower uh, effectiveness of uh, 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 cytology-based screening in younger women. And it at least shows that uh, the gain with HPV is at least as large in uh, this age group than in older women. Uh, so I think the main conclusion are uh, that HPV-based screening has at least, I would say, a 40% uh, uh, greater efficacy not simply early diagnosis, but greater efficacy than cytology in preventing invasive first cancer. But the gain is greatest uh, uh, in preventing adenocarcinoma. Uh, that plausibly uh, can, uh, HPV could, should start, base screening should start at first. It's difficult to say before, but not later. Um, and that uh, five-year intervals uh, between uh, negative tests are safe and uh, they are also, uh, in our view, recommendable because uh, shorter interval would mean, uh, would cause very low, uh, would correspond to uh, recent uh, uh, infection, which uh, as well uh, shown by, by uh, the, the one of cast data uh, correspond to uh, low predictive value and uh, uh, high probability of uh, overdiagnosis. And uh, this, uh, uh, sorry. Thank you for uh, uh, your attention, and if you have... Uh